Hey guys, alright, now we've done making prime factorizations and we've also done some finding the greatest common divisor or greatest common factor. Now today we're going to find the least common multiple. To find the least common multiple we are going to need to know how to do prime factorizations. So a multiple, so if I have the number 32, is the product um, when I multiply 32 by something else. Okay, so whatever that answer is, that's a multiple of 32. So in this case, I'm going to just write out all of the multiples of 32. 32 times 1 is 32. 32 times 2 is 64. 32 times 3 is 96. 32 times 4 is 128. Now I'm going to make some multiples or write out some multiples of 24. So I want to find the least common multiple, a multiple that the two numbers share, but the smallest one that they share, or the least, okay? 24 times 1 is 24. 24 times 2 is 48. 24 times 3 is 72. 24 times 4 is 96. As you see, I have a common multiple here at 96. And since there are no numbers smaller than 96, that these two numbers share, my least common multiple is 96. Okay, so that's an easy way to do it, but if you have three numbers we're trying to find the least common multiple of, or um, certain numbers if they're larger, you might have to write out 10, 12, 13 um, different multiples. And that can get to be just a, a, a very difficult task. It's harder than it has to be. So I'm going to teach you a way using prime factorizations to find the least common multiple. So let's look and let's say I'm trying to find the least common multiple of 15, 12, and 36. Okay, step one is going to be to write each number's prime factorization. Now, I have another video on how to do a prime factorization. I will put the link to that video in the, um, the, the video description. Okay, so I'm not going to go over how to do a prime factorization right now, but there are uh, an, other videos, and I even made one for you to check if you if you still need help with that. But five, or sorry, 15 is three times five. Okay, 12 is two times two times three, and 36 is two times two times three times three. Now, the second step is circle the numbers in common in each prime factorization. That means in common between the rows. So the first one, I look at 3. There's a 3 in the 15, a 3 in the 12, and a 3 in the 36. Now there's more than one 3 in the 36, but I can't... I can only match up one, um, one for one for each row. Okay. For me to circle this number 3, I'd have to have another one up here. Okay, the next five. Well, I don't have any other fives, so I'm not going to circle those. But now I come down here, two. Well, I have a two in the 36 as well. So I have a two here and a two here. I don't have a two in the 15. Well, I go next door and I have another two. And I have another two below it in the 36, so I'm going to circle that one that too because I have a 2 below it that I can match up with it. Now I don't have any 5's anywhere else. And I don't have any uncircled 3's anywhere else so I can't circle that one and I can't circle that one. Well now I multiply the circled numbers in each row once and then I multiply all of the uncircled numbers as well. So I have to need to write myself a um, a multiplication sentence. So I'm going to start with my red number twos. Okay, so I only use it once. I'm going to multiply it by the green two. Oops. And then the other circled numbers I have is three. Okay, so I'm going to multiply it by one of the threes. Now I don't multiply it by two twos and two twos and three threes. No. When I circle the group of matched ones, I use those once. 
So the red circled um, twos I use once. The green circled twos I use once. The blue circled threes I use once. Then I multiply my uncircled numbers. In this case it's three and then I have a five that's uncircled too. Okay, so two times two is four times um, three is twelve times three is thirty-six and then I have to multiply it by five and thirty-six times five is one hundred and eighty so the least common multiple of 15 12 and 36 is 180 now if I were to write down all the multiples of 15 all the multiples of 12 and all the multiples of 36 I'd find that 180 is the first number that was in common between all of them but that's a lot of multiples I have to write out so if I just break down each of the numbers into their prime factorizations find the ones in common, multiply the numbers they have in common one time each, and then multiply all the numbers that aren't in common, I'm going to get my least common multiple.